All right, let's head back to Lant. Asbel, tell me, what did the Five Fingers say to the face? You have disobeyed me for the last time. That's Sophie coming and she's gonna do something. Lord Aston, please do not be angry with Asbel. He saved my life. Respectfully, Your Highness, your life was in danger only because he spirited you away. This is untrue, Lord Aston. I asked your son to show me the town. If there is blame to be assigned for our actions, it belongs to me alone. Richard. As you wish, Your Highness. I will forgive Asbel's role in the threat on your life. I am grateful, Lord Aston. But this is not over, Asbel. I told you to avoid Launt Hill, and you disobeyed me. And worse, you made Hubert and Sherry a lie to shield you. The search party was delayed for hours as a direct result of your actions. I, uh... um... You are confined to your room until further notice. Fine. Uh, I'm sorry, that means Asbel. you're right. I tried. That's okay. Who knows what he would have done if he hadn't said anything. Thanks, Richard. I fear I have more news, Prince Richard. While you were out, we received an urgent message. Your father, the king, has taken ill. You have been ordered back to the capital without delay. My father is sick? I'm afraid so. You should prepare to depart at once. As we cannot allow Bryce to remain unguarded, I will escort you back myself. I... I understand. Hubert. Yes, Dad? You will join us as well. You're taking me to the capital? Why does he get to go? Because you are confined to your room. Or are you so thick-skulled that you've already forgotten? <laughs> yes, he is. Hubert gets all the fun. I'm sorry, Asbel. Don't worry, little brother. Have a good time, okay? Oh, okay. I'll buy you a bunch of souvenirs. He gets a vacation and I get punished. Just great. You still don't understand what you've done, huh? It might take a little while, but I'll come back to Launt someday. If you're ever in the capital, you should come see me. I'll show you around the castle. Oh, I'm definitely there. Wait, here. It's not a reward. I'm just lending it to you. When you visit the castle, show this to the guards. They'll let me know you've arrived. Gotcha. In that case, I'll hang on to it. I wish I had more time here, but I have to go. Okay, I'll see you around. No tears, my wife. This is in Hubert's best interest. I know, it's just... Hey, Hubert, take this with you. What is it? It's a good luck charm. It'll keep you from being scared, even when I'm not around. Hey, I don't get scared. That's enough, Hubert. We must be off. Okay. Farewell, Lord Aston. Young Master Hubert. Goodbye, my son. See you, Richard. So long, Hubert. Buy me something really cool, okay? Forgive me, Master Asbel, but... Yeah, I know. Back to my room. <laughs> that means I'm gonna sneak out later. Dad thinks I'm gonna stay in here? He's crazy. No door can hold me back. I'll just tweak this wire here. And turn it like this. And... Still locked. Well, crap. 
I really wanted to see the capital, I might have been able to find someone who knows about Sophie. You called out, though? Uh, Sophie? What are you doing out there? Also, what's the capital? Uh, well, the capital is the biggest city in the whole kingdom. There's lots of people there, so I thought one of them might recognize you. That's why I want to go, but... I want to go, too. Oh? Well, all right, then. Let's sneak out of here and go together. Quick, open the door. It won't open. Damn! <laughs> now what? Also, move away from the door. Huh? Uh, okay. Holy if it was just a cow. few more inches closer. It's open. It didn't open. You broke it down. Well, whatever. But we better go. The whole manor probably heard that. Okay. And nobody's gonna notice me coming out of the house. Uh huh. That's believable. <laughs> All right, I think I got enough gels and and seeds. Right, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I don't think I can buy anything for Sophie just yet. Thankfully, I didn't buy anything for Hubert. It would have been money wasted. Since I think you only use them about that much. And I think it's this way that we need to go. To the tough bear. Excuse me. Get on my way. Oh, crap. Get on my way. Oh, crap. I got a gel seed sweet, and I got a couple of apples back there, too. So I'll be able to dualize. Excuse me, monkey head. Excuse me, peep it. Uh, there's nothing there yet. Are you tired, Sophie? No. You're really strong for someone so quiet. Yeah, <laughs> so it's the quiet ones. If I'm strong, I can protect you. Wait, what? No, that's not how it works. <laughs> I can't be protected by a girl. That's embarrassing. Even if she's stronger than you. I want to protect you. Okay, how about this? We'll race to that house over there. Whoever wins gets to protect the other person. Deal? <laughs> no one can outrun me. Ready? <laughs> you haven't met Sophie. Meow. She's off like a bullet. <sighs> you're, you're really fast. I win. <laughs> now I'll protect you. Oh, I can't believe it. I was supposed to win. I'm supposed to protect you. Next time, I'm gonna win, no matter what. You got beat by a girl, huh?
Manual, manual. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's what I've been. I've been waiting for a manual. All right, weird is weird. Aspel, is Sharia okay? She'll be okay. We can't take her with us because her illness might act up. Illness? She's been sick since birth, but everyone gets sick, right? Really? I don't remember ever being sick. Someday I'll stop being surprised by you, Sophie. But you sure are weird sometimes. Weird? What does that mean? It means you're weird, that's all. But in your <laughs> case, it means I'll never get bored when I'm with you. Then you are weird too, Asbel. That just sounds weird coming from you. All right. Let's get... Ooh, what's this? Let's continue on to the border. Where are we going? Go this way. Can't believe we... We're walking by foot. Much easier than I thought. What's this? Trash. Who leaves trash in this beautiful countryside? Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Oh, 300 gold. Nice. Will I be able to carry that when I'm older? Look at this cow. Wind door cows. Sweet. <laughs> cows sure do make some really weird noises. Moo! Ow! Hey, take it easy, cow. Oh, you want to play? Let's go. Gah. Gah. The hell is he doing? Was it fun? What? You asked the cow to play with you. Just don't tell anyone about this, alright? Okay. But why were your noises weirder than the cow's? No one asked you! Uh, uh, because there's a human making the noise. Uh, he landed on cow crap. Try to tip the cow over. No, no, no. That was a big mistake on your part. All right, that way's to the. What do you call this? To the port, I guess. So he's gonna venture out here, talk to the cows, see what they say. Hello. Hello, cows. Hello. I right, thank you for that information, sir. Nope. I'm gonna have to run all the way this way. <laughs> Made it harder for myself. Alright, let's head down to the port of Barona. Or port to Barona. Hello. Alright. <laughs> sure, give me some. Thank you. Go to people's houses to steal their crap. Excuse me, see? Nothing to see here. Just stole two pieces of bread. And some lettuce. Make me a BLT. Where's the tomato? This person's sick in bed. Alright. Well, I need some tomatoes. Are these tomatoes? Damn, I can't steal them. Crap. 
They can make a, a ham sandwich or something. Hello, people. Well, good for you. I played with Prince Richard. Alright, how much is it, sir? Yes, I would like to... For the kids, it's only like 10 bucks. Five dollars each. But when you get older, it's like 200. But you got like mad people with you. That was my alarm on my iPhone. Sorry about that. Is this your first boat ride? I don't know, but I'm nervous. My heart is fluttery. It happened as soon as I saw the capital. <laughs> I'm too excited to be nervous. You are? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be awesome for you and me to jump in a boat and sail around the world? You and me? Well, other people could come, like Hubert and Sharia and maybe even Richard. We'd have so much fun, you'd forget to be nervous. And then, we could sail around and try to recover your memory. That sounds nice. Hey, we're almost to Barona. Boy, are Hubert and Richard gonna be surprised to see us. And so will your father, you dummy. When you can find to your room. Alright, in Barona we are. There's nothing to, you know, check here. I like checking for boxes. Take a look at steel crap. Nope. Well, I'm gonna try to see if I can, you know, travel around the town. Check everything before I go to the castle. Barona, the wellspring of the wind. is huge. It's nothing like life back in Launt. Aspo? Whoa. Sharia? What are you doing here? I came here to see a doctor. I should have known you couldn't stay away, Aspo. So what are you doing here anyway? I'm looking for someone who might know Sophie, but I also might swing by the Night Academy. Oh, and I'm definitely gonna visit Richard. He's the prince, Asbel. You can't just waltz into his castle and start yakking away. Sure I can. That's why he gave me this. A ring? Not just any ring. This ring proves I'm Richard's friend. Come on, follow me to the castle and I'll show you what this baby can do. Alright, let's get Sherry into more trouble. <laughs> This girl's all giddy. Why is she giddy? I don't know. I see. Look how giddy you are. Hello? Well, that's just bad luck for you. You're not me. A feather. 
Alright. I want to check every inch of the castle. Here's the Night Academy. Hello, ladies. Uh. Ooh, Malik. That name makes me tingle. Damn. This is the weapon shop. See, imagine if I wasted on the blades. I wouldn't have the brother here. That would be a waste of money. Alright, this is the lower city. This is the church area where the guard stays. This is the real sanctuary where we go later on in the game. Alright, I gotta remember it's in the, the castle district area. Well, the higher district. Well, I guess there's no way to go this way. Wait, 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 wait. Dualize me some stuff. Okay, don't dualize anything for me. These two chicks in my way. Can't go there. I guess we go here. Nope, we gotta talk to the guard. We don't talk to you. We talk to you. Hey, Mr. Guard. Check this out. That's the princess ring. You must be Asbel. The prince told us to expect your arrival. Wow, it really worked. So, is Rich, uh, his highness busy? I'd love to chat if it's not too much trouble. I hope he has time. His father was pretty sick after all. But I'm inconsiderate. I shall inquire after his highness. In the meantime, perhaps you could wait somewhere less conspicuous. I suggest the square with the Valcanus Creus. It's a central location and easy to find. Besides, the Valcanus Creus itself is well worth the trip. You don't see a hunk of Creus that large just anywhere. Sounds good. We'll go wait there. You heard the man. Let's head to the square with the Valcanus Creus. Except maybe like two or three areas with a Vagnus Creus as big as this one. People just don't know. You don't travel outside your area, you don't know. Hello. I see. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Wow, so this is a Valcanus Creus. I never imagined it would be this big. This thing is even bigger than the windmills and lot. It's nothing like any Creus I've ever seen. What's its proper name again? Glow... Glow something? Gloandi. It means the Green Mother. Hey, Richard! Sorry I'm late, Asbel. Sophie? Sharia? It's good to see you again. Um, should you really be walking around by yourself? It's okay. I think you brought a friend. <laughs> ah, the guard's gotcha. getting in the back.
The Valcanus Creus is both our kingdom's symbol and the source of her prosperity. It's our most treasured possession. But enough history. I'm pleased to see you all again, and so soon. How's your father doing? He's going to be all right. That's great news! Yes, although... Well, he's recovering. That's the important thing. So, what's your plan? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe wander around town, see the sights? That sounds fun. You should come. I don't know. That could be a bit tricky. You don't want to come with us? No, it's just... he's a prince, you know? Well then, we'll just have to make him our honorary big brother. That's one way to go about it. Come on, let's take our new brother Richard out on the town. Um, Aspo, people are going to notice if you're wandering around with a young man named Richard. Oh, let's right. do a Tiger Festival. So, what should we call him? Tiger Festival. <laughs> That's perfect! <laughs> These two are really something. Please forgive them, Your Highness. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Sharia. I love it. From now on, I'm your big brother, Tiger Festival. Sweet! I've always wanted to have an older brother. Our older brother, Tiger Festival. Exactly. Now, why don't you let me show you around the capital? First, there's a special place I want you to see. It's my way of thanking you for our good times and lot. We'll go through the North Gate and follow the road for a little bit. Where exactly are we going? <laughs> don't worry, you'll see. They're excited okay. we're going outside the castle walls. Hey, hold on, wait for me. Hurry up, Slowpoke. We can explore the city. Or head north. I guess we'll head north. Finally, we're able to go um, to go up here. See if we can find some stuff. Yes, yeah, treasure chest. Let's open this puppy up. Another glass sphere. I wonder what the hell we do with these. Hold on, I have my timer running, and I don't want to lose track of how many minutes I've been playing. Oh, I think it's 27 minutes. Oh, we got some beef. Two pieces of beef. Sweet. Hmm, what's in here? I gotta check out my trophies, what they are. I know it's passive and evil or, you know, some other stuff. I guess we don't go this way. Because we go up the hill and... To see Richard's sight. Ready, everyone? Take a look at this. Oh, wow. Wow, you can see so far. Lant's not the only place with a great view. Sometimes I have the Royal Guard escort me here. I find it relaxing. All you see is land and sky and green. There's no pain, no suffering, just beauty. 
I see this and ask myself, why must men fight? Why do all arguments inevitably lead to war? I would give anything to build a world without conflict. But I suppose that's just a silly dream. No, you can do it, Richard. When you become king, you can create any world you want. My father used to say that same thing, but then... Then what? You can't tell anyone this, but my father isn't sick. He was poisoned. What? Who would do that? There are many who stand again by my father's death. And when I become king someday, those same people will come for me as well. They try to kill you? Who are they? Let me at them! I'll take them out right now! Poor Richard. It's okay. I just have to be extra careful from now on. If you ever need anything, Richard, you just come to me. Thanks, Asbel. I will. Come on, we should go back to the city. All right, it's dangerous out here. Wait, what's this? Ah! See, if I didn't step on it accidentally, I would have never known there was like 44 pieces of gold in there. This big guy just stomping his way like, yeah. Nobody's gonna pass me. Oops, I just did. Crap. Whoop, what's this? More apples. Alright. Excuse me, pee pee. Oh, I'm gonna save right here. And then continue on with the story.